Five years ago, I made a radical decision to uncopyright all of my content. So every single page of my website, all of my blog posts, all of my books, and even all of my courses are all uncopyrighted. Well, technically, they're in the Creative Commons zero license, which means that any of you, anybody in the world, can take any of my content and call it their own, make money with it, put it under their own name, and will not even have to mention my name one bit. Not give me credit at all. No attribution needed at all. Don't, have to, don't even have to ask me for permission. Now, why did I do that? And how is it going five years later? Well, I'll just cut to the chase. I don't have a lot of time on these IGTVs. It has been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life and in my business. So it was a really good business decision too. Why is that? Well, what I discovered is that before, you know, I've been in business for 10 years. So the first five years of my business, I was very concerned about locking down my courses, my content, everything has to be protected, copyrighted, etc. And what I, what I noticed was that it was stifling my creativity. It was creating more fear because copywriting and protection is essentially founded on fear that others won't give us credit for what we created and that others will make money and won't share with us based on what we created. So that fear stifles creativity is a concept that I've now proven to myself in five years of doing this because I have never been this creative. I will tell you the first five years of my business, I was not that creative. I was just recycling the same sales pitches, recycling the same sales webinars, um, the same content to try to get people to buy, et cetera, et cetera, because everything was so based on having to make money or fear, et cetera. The irony is the second five years of my business, the last five years that I've just experienced, I made money more easily than the first five years of my business. Now, why is that? It's because when I started to open up to this idea that I have unlimited ideas. So that's really the, the sort of core foundational change from fearful, I have limited ideas, I'm a limited creator, I better protect everything that I do. And the shift, I went through a bit of a spiritual transformation a few years ago and that was part of the shift. It's like, no, I'm unlimited. I, I have an unlimited well of ideas within me that as I practice tapping into, I will discover more and more and more. And because I have an unlimited well of ideas, I don't have to be afraid if anybody steals my ideas because I have more, right? I have more. Now, of course, it's different with physical objects. Like I can't give you all of my furniture because then I'll have no furniture. I'll have to go and procure more furniture, etc. And that's, it takes money and takes time. Money is not even, uh, money is something that if you give away, it's like it takes a lot more time to, 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 to create money, etc. But ideas, you give it away, it actually tends to foster even more creativity in the world and that might come back to you and you, you know, give you more ideas. Ideas are much more quickly generated than physical objects or, or, or even money, okay? So, and of course, money comes from ideas. And so if you learn and practice generating ideas quickly, um, and it's a muscle, and you, the more you do it, the more you're able to, uh, the more money you can generate, of course. But the key is, for me, was creativity. Once I decided to open it up, now, I got inspired to do this from um, a blogger uh, and writer uh, called Leo, uh, his name is Leo Babauta. His website is zenhabits.net. And he, had, he has several posts about this. One of the posts is zenhabits.net slash uncopyright. zenhabits.net slash 
uncopyright, U-N-C-O-P-Y-R-I-G-H-T, uncopyright. Zenhabits.net slash uncopyright. So when I read that, and he's been doing it since January of 2008, even before I started my business, um, I was so inspired. I said, wow, if this guy can do it and he's super successful, maybe I should try it too. And I have. And I've only, like I said, I've only gotten more creative. Money making's become even easier for me. Uh, I've built a loyal and genuine audience over the year, over the past five years that I've been so open. And that's the other thing. It's like when, when we are open-hearted, the more we're able to live life from an open-hearted place, the more we tend to attract open-hearted people, people who care about us, who are not going to steal from us, um, who only want you know to, to contribute to us when however they can so I found that to be true with my audience I've over five years now I've generated an open-hearted audience versus in the first five years it was different kind of audience it was an audience more focused on money and marketing and you know it was it was more um, yeah material material driven audience now it's now not I still had some open-hearted people back then but and some of them came over with me now but it was a it was a majority it was different back then versus now so I'm not saying that you should go ahead and make everything uncopyrighted also but I just want to share with you that if you ever are curious about that now you have two examples Leo Babauta who still continues to thrive today and and me and uh, so as I said again everything you hear from me everything you see me write you can take you can take any of my ideas any of my phrasings anything and you could use it on your own you could use it for yourself you could use it publish it under your name you don't even have to ref remember to credit me or to ask me per no permission needed just go for it um, now if you literally did that only you took a lot of my stuff and you called it yours then by definition it's not authentic and it's not going to be as uh, you know, fulfilling to you, authentic to you. Uh, you, 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 you won't be tapping into your own creative, creative well, uh, which I think is the most important thing. Making money is not the most important thing. I think creativity uh, is the most important thing. And I'll, I'll end this video by, by saying this. And this is related to my spiritual transformation a couple years ago. I think that the main point of that spiritual transformation was I came to realize that uh, at, at some profound level that I can't understand or describe that we are all profoundly taken care of. That there is an eternal security that um, will never leave us. No matter, and, and, and we can't screw it up. So what that means is you and I can be fully ourselves in the world always aiming towards our, our best selves obviously but just we you and I don't have to pretend don't have to protect and we will still be deeply taken care of no matter what and it's a practice of course to, to reconnect to that every single day I reconnect that to, to that multiple times a day through my own practice I call it energy reboot you can google that google George Cow energy reboot and you'll find you'll find my blog post and video about that um, but if you reconnect to your own source of profound and eternal security I think that's where the greatest creativity comes from because with eternal security comes the ability to play the ability to experiment a lack of fear is what allows true creativity and true authenticity so um, and the other thing is that the truth about the market is that no matter how hard we work, we'll never reach all the people who are meant for us. I'm in, uh, you know, even Seth Godin, you know, the among marketing experts, Seth Godin is like God, right? Still, there are people just discovering him today. I know this because I've, I've heard from people like, oh, I didn't know about Seth Godin. I'm like, what? You're an adult. How could you not have heard of Seth Godin? It's like still lots of people. So even all the marketing he's done, still lots of opportunity. Same with you and me. We have unlimited opportunity. And let us let that fuel our creativity and our generosity. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next video.